long awaited part two of the two strand twist. I first showed you how I took out the existing ones and I'm going to show you how I put them in. I wanted to put them straight back in but I actually left them out for two weeks. I've been getting calmer and more confident with my exams so I didn't have to stress about my hair. So I'm going to show you how I do my two strand twists. Um, as you can see, my hair is already in sections. This is how I wore it for bed to stretch it. Um, I just did it in um, braids, six sections, and I just put bobby pins to keep it stretched. And this is what I basically do when my hair, I know it's not going to be that stretched in the morning, but I know that um, pulling it like this, I'm going to have a better style so you want to do this hairstyle on stretched hair because it's just gonna give it that length give it that mm, yum 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 um i'm going to take it down now so currently my hair's all looking like a braid out <laughs> so i'm just going to lightly spritz the ends of my hair i don't want to saturate it because i want it um i don't want it to shrink up and revert back to the clothes that I stretched out all night. Use some coconut oil. I finger detangle my hair. Um, I put it into two sections and I finger detangled the left and I finger detangled the right and then I'll be ready to section it for the actual twist. I take my wide tooth comb and I section across at the back. Then I clamp my hair away. The idea is that they're mini two strand twists, so I want small sections of my hair. I use my fingers to separate it so it has a natural look. I don't want it to be so um, neat and rigid parts like box braids all over my hair because it's not box braids. So now that I'm ready to install my two strand twists I'm going to be using one main product which is pure unrefined shea butter. Mine is from Ghana, the one I'm going to be using but alternatively I have um, used in the past the Cruiser brand. I don't know if you can see it. Gonna yeah, <laughs> um, this is 100% African shea butter. It's creamy, um, it's unrefined, and it you can use it all over your body. But I especially use it for this two tan, for these two strands. Okay, so you get a section of the hair quite small because they're mini two strands. Um. In your screen, I'm sure it's going to look a lot bigger than it actually is. Um, at the back and at the sides, I do them really thin. And then towards the crown of the head and the middle, I get bigger because obviously they're not going to be really seen. And it takes me hours to install. So I do fine at the back and thick in the crown, in the middle. How you want the size of your two strand twist is how big you make the section basically. I lightly spritz again just because I like to seal moisture in and I don't feel that the oils are going to moisturise my hair enough. So I put the water, then I put some more coconut oil and then I put the shea butter. take my detangling comb and I go at the ends and I lightly just detangle any knots that might be there and now I am ready to twist so I take the hair and I divide it in two then I cross it over and I pull 
across and I pull it across and I pull it and as I'm crossing and pulling I'm also twisting like this like this I'm not sure if you're actually seeing as I cross over I'm twisting with my right hand cross twist cross twist cross twist but I'm also pulling okay right I'm crossing over I'm twisting and pulling does that make sense does that really make sense I take the section and I split it in two try and make it even that's really not even so I'll go again <laughs> there we go and to install it I take one section and cross it over the other I pull and I twist it I go again cross over pull away from each other twist it with my right hand and cross over again pull twist cross over pull twist cross over and pull and twist and cross over and pull and twist and cross over again pull twist cross over pull twist cross over pull twist cross over it's not a proper um around the roundabout circle twist it's just literally twisting a little together with, with my between my two fingers and then together twist together twist together don't worry if you didn't see it. i'll show you again at the end i think it'll be easier for you to see at the front of my hair just as i did in the first video um but yeah so it's gonna take me a few hours so i will come back at the end and show you how it looks show you how i prepare it for bed show you how um i usually style it and yeah i'll see you <laughs> in a bit okay last one now um, i'm gonna show you one more time spray bottle of water Put it at the end and massage it through the hair. Take my coconut oil, put it at the end, go through the hair, then put shea butter. I put a lot of shea butter. Then I take my detangling comb at the end, work my way up. Take it, separate it into crossover, pull, twist, crossover, pull, twist, crossover, pull, twist. Crossover pull, twist, cross over, pull, twist, cross over, pull, twist, cross over, pull, twist. All done. Um, I'll take it down and show you how it looks all together and then I'll show you how I wrap it for bed. Nice and yummy and nice and neat. Okay, so to wear it for bed, I will take one side at a time. I'll usually um, do it in half. And then I take one side and I roll it.
and then I just take my bobby pins and secure it in place. I left this out because I don't want to tuck at it, so I'm just going to tuck it into place. Take the other side, do the same thing. Take, take my bobby pins. And pin it in place. Take another one and pin it in the opposite direction so it makes like a cross with your pins to make it double secure. And do the same thing with the other side. I don't want to pull it too tight and I don't want to have it too loose I just want to keep it stretched so that it doesn't shrink up and um, go curly in the night so that's basically it how I do the mini two strand twist and how I maintain it for bed um, I will show you in the morning how I do my edit <laughs> hi <laughs> okay so it's morning I just wanted to take down my hair and show you how I style it for my day to day with these mini two strand twists um, I'll just take it down and show you right now I'd have it in my satin scarf as you can see for bed and just as I told you last night this is how I rolled and pinned it and tucked it away for bed the satin scarf make, helped it to keep it laid and stretched and in place so I didn't need to pull and have so much tension on the two strand twist. Um, I'll take it down and show you now. So it's really important that you do this style on stretched hair initially because as you can see it's really like the ends have really shrunken up already and I only lightly spritz the ends so you have to start on stretched hair. Um, at the beginning of when I always do the style I never like how flat it sits on my head. I like the volume and the bigness that it gets throughout the week. I won't need to use them now but I'll just show you. Um, usually day three, four, um, five, I'd have to use some water to lightly spritz my ends and some castor oil. Mine is almost done, mm. but I use this one. I don't know if you can see it. It can. Yeah, I use this one. It's red by Ancient Formulae. That's it. It's got um, coconut oil and vegetable oil infused in it. It adds protection with your style and thickness and a luster and dense and cool and and replenishes. It's really good. I really I really like this one and I'll put it on my edges along the sides here and at the back of my nape. I'll take a hairband, this small one, it's outless, and I will put my hair back for day to day, I mean for church I'll have it out, but like if I'm just going to my lectures and stuff, I'll just put it all away. Um, if I don't want this flying then I would um, take my bobby pin and pin it back. Sometimes I have it out just for, you know, a, few, a little bit of fringe, a little bit of a few bangs out. And 
pull these in place at the back make sure that it's not um, rubbing I want to make sure that it's not in touching my clothes so these longer strands I'll wrap them round the hairband and tuck them away so it looks like I've got a hit like the twists are wrapping my hair so yeah this is this is basically it for this hairstyle I know a lot of people have been commenting about the thickness of my hair and I wanted to show you this hairstyle because I know without a doubt that it has contributed to my length retention and my growth and I have seen significant like thickness in the roots of my hair the growth rate because I put it away for the majority of the winter in the mini two strand twist I find that um, my hair really loves it and it really goes well with it so I get a lot of length retention and thickness just by doing this style basically it has contributed a lot obviously it's not the only thing but it is a great way and my hair wasn't all that thick before but I know that since putting the mini two sun twists in it has gotten a lot of thickness and a lot of growth and I wanted to share it with you guys so thumbs up if you liked this video and please share it and leave a comment down below because I would love to hear some feedback on what's your go-to protective style to keep your hair nice and thick and luscious and um, re length, retaining lots of length and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye.